Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks and welcome back to my home. I have a super easy salmon dish for you and you are going to be amazed at how quick this is. It's almost embarrassing how quick it is. Step number one, we are having teriyaki salmon with broccoli over rice. This is like a bowl. We're gonna put it in a bowl and just enjoy it in a bowl. And um, so I'm using an Asian rice, but use whatever rice you have and cook it whatever way you like. So get that going. Next, this right here is my favorite store-bought teriyaki. Love it. It's from Soy Bay and it's very, very teriyaki. Now, if you don't have this, that's fine. And you wanna do this and you're like, well, I don't have teriyaki. If you wanna make a quick teriyaki at home, just use some soy sauce, some ginger and garlic and sugar, brown sugar preferably, has more flavor. In your condiments aisle is where you'd find your teriyaki. There are tons of different kinds. There's also other Asian sauces you can try to see what you like better. So I'm just gonna put this on my salmon, just maybe a quarter cup, just to let it cover. Just like, well, you could see it, yeah. And I'm gonna let that sit for like 10 to 15 minutes. In the meantime, my rice will be cooking and prepare your broccoli and get that going. Um, I have um, pieces that are all about the same size because I'm steaming it. And then I did not get crowned, so crown broccoli. So I had a lot of stem, so I peeled it and it's delicious. It kind of tastes like um, a water chestnut, it has the same consistency. So these need to be steamed, but not yet. Just get those cut and you know in your pot and ready to go, ready to be steamed. Disclaimer, sometimes I look terrible. It's not always my fault. There are times when I look terrible, I got my hair up, no makeup on, blah, 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 and I still need to videotape. I'm here to tell you that sometimes I use filters because I look so bad or the lighting is so bad. I will tell you either in the video that I'm using a filter or I will put it in my description because I wanna be completely honest just in case I run into one of you guys. But this right here, this is normal because the lighting is hitting me wonderfully. So, and I have a little makeup on. So I want you to know there are times I have used it. Probably in my 180 videos, probably 10 times I'd say but I'm trying to videotape a little different, a little more on the fly, and that means you're not always concerned about your hair and makeup. It's been 10 minutes. My salmon is ready to go in the oven. I'm gonna put that in the oven at 350, and I'm gonna cook it how I like to cook it. I like mine a little medium rare. Um, other people may not. You know, what you do is, you know, you kinda can feel um, the texture that you want by touching it. Uh, if you're not used to cooking it that way, then I would leave it in at 350 for between 10 and 15 minutes. At 10 minutes, get a fork, pry in there a little bit and check to see if it's um, the way you like it. If you want it cooked all the way through, it may need to be in there a little longer. So you just need to stay on top of it to see how you like it. And I'm going to put my broccoli right over here. Rice is already cooking. Broccoli's gonna start steaming. Sam is going in the oven. We're gonna be back in a couple minutes and the meal is gonna be done. It has been less than 20 minutes and we have everything done and a super delicious meal. So let's get it plated up. Okay, so we need to put our rice in, then our salmon and then our broccoli. And then if you want some extra, you can put extra of this or just soy sauce, whichever you prefer. Um, I tried one time putting this on my broccoli and tossing it, but I didn't like it because of, whew, that sun is bright. Um, I didn't like it because, um, you know how broccoli has just so many like little pockets and it just seemed kind of like it sponge, you know, like it soaked it all up and um, it made the broccoli kind of, I don't know, too teriyaki-ish. Okay, let me get some rice. Now we're just gonna take a lid. I'm gonna leave the skin behind. And get a, oh my goodness. I'll cut it a little bit here. Ooh la la, so easy. 
Boy, I didn't put much rice in there. Not enough rice, but um, I need to lose a few LBs anyway, so we'll leave it as is. That is it. The meal is done. Okay, I'm gonna just come down here. We're just gonna take a little uh, tester. A little bit of, I'm not even gonna add extra um, soy sauce right now. Or I haven't been using my chopsticks. Um, I'm having some troubles. Let's see. Okay, salmon is good. Definitely needs some of the soy sauce on it. Mmm, let's put a little soy sauce on there and get this baby a rockin'. Let's give this a try here. Mmm. So, so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. And so simple and so quick. Please subscribe below. Give me a thumbs up and I would love to hear a quick meal that you like to make that does not seem quick, that can impress family, friends, even yourself. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks and we'll see you next time.